So I, I think a quick recap of what uh, different folks covered in the last two hours, and I'm going to tie this back together with the automation. So we saw firewall demo and Neve's uh, uh, position on how uh, different security solutions are delivered as a service, and also the important piece, which is if you look at the firewall concept, app ID, how easy it is to add rules, how easy it is to configure policies, cloud pieces, where you can assess policies, you can use machine learning for detections. And then uh, with the Cortex piece, uh, where all this data from network and point cloud being tied together with anomaly detection. I think where Demisto comes in is tying these alerts that are coming in from different sources and helping the analyst uh, automating these away. The way I put it is, if you look at a typical analyst, they are doing this. They're looking at the security data coming in from different places, following processes. And I think it's the human angle which over the last 10, 12 years, we have completely ignored in security. We built tool after tool after tool and assuming and hoping that somebody will be able to manage them. <laughs> right? That, I think, is kind of has happened over the last 15 years in security. And I think this whole space of security automation is trying to help with that. The analyst typically investigates, collaborates with peers. Completely, like we completely ignored how people work together to solve problems. When we started Demisto four years ago, one of the biggest thing was like, how does one analyst talk to another? Says, oh, we pick up the phone and call and ask, have you seen this IP? Oh, I saw this IP there. Like, there's funny. The most common question that was asked in any investigation was, have you seen this before? Right. And it's, it's bizarre that that data, then they says, yeah, let me go look at my notebook. I noted it here, online digital notebook. It was all over the place. And then you take enforcement actions. So what's Demisto and how do we help with? So Demisto primarily is a workflow engine. It's a ticketing system. However boring a ticketing system is, security ticketing system have different needs. And it's a collaboration platform. We believe this is where the analyst do their job once an alert comes in. An alert could come in from all of the different tools. Today, out of the box, we integrate close to 300 different products. Not just Palo Alto products, and this is a very important thing. The power of this platform, it's vendor agnostic. We've gone out and integrated with close to 300 different products with the APIs. No different, like, the products are already enabled with APIs. I mean, in the, any security product built in last seven to 10 years has an API. We built an integration with those. Thousands of actions, right? These 300 integrations are not just collecting data. That SIM did it, right? Data collectors have been out there. This data collection, this, this integration is bi-directional. I can go query and get more details. I can actually go take an action. I can create a firewall policy. I can create a block rule in an endpoint. I can upload a file to a third-party threat intel feed. All of these pieces. And the last piece, which I'll actually show you live, is this visual editor. The, what you're seeing here is nothing but a workflow diagram. And being able to build that diagram just like you would do it in a Visio, but it's not a visual diagram. It actually runs these commands. So the individual actions across playbooks, across products, you automate them. Customers have built tens and dozens of integrations of all kind of stuff, whether it's starting from a malware response to deep investigation on a phishing to actually going getting uh, the AV feed or a video feed from their cameras on a notification where a user entered a different part of a building. So these playbooks, fully customizable, people build it. Uh, we talked about ticketing system, one of the core piece, security ticketing systems are very different than IT ticketing systems, right? Uh, you need segregation of duties, you need controls. So we built a tightly integrated ticketing system because every alert needs to be investigated, tracked, and all of those pieces. Full metrics, every other piece. And the last piece, as I mentioned, is collaboration. Now, when I asked this question, have you seen this before point that I made? Of course, you can collaborate with your peers for each incident. So we create a Slack-like war room, right? So it's called a war room. It's a chat room where peers could be invited to talk about that incident. But you can actually talk to our bot and ask these questions. Have you seen this before question could be asked to a bot, not in natural language, but structured commands. And it says, find me this IP in all my network connections at the endpoint. Where was this file landed? 
And that's what we call DBOT, and I'm gonna show you that live. So that's kind of a quick overview of the product. These use cases and these capabilities are not just for security operations and incident response. We are seeing customer use them from cloud security to threat hunting to vulnerability management. Because effectively, it's an automation platform. You combine these integrations and build a workflow engine. A quick snapshot of our integrations, as I said, couldn't fit all of the 300 uh, on a slide. Uh, these are all available uh, on our website, but I think these integrations partners are building. We have a very, very large community, more than 6,000 security analysts on a public community. It's a Slack community. I'll have a URL to share with you guys at the end as well. But let's actually see the demo. Now, quick recap of the demo. The way I've designed a demo, it's a phishing attack happening on a healthcare org. And that phishing attack, somebody forwards it. So somebody thinks, hey, something suspicious going on here, and they forward it to a mailbox, let's say spoof at uhealth.com. And let's see how Demisto runs from there in the entire investigation process. So the core of Demisto is, uh, as I call all of these integrations. Uh, integrations here that you see are across different categories. So SIMS to case management to database to email gateway, as you see, different integrations. Integrations are extremely easy to configure. Time to value, like uh, all I'm talking about human efficiency here. So configure an integration is as easy as going add instance, putting in the URL, APK, API key, and API secret. That's all you need. You don't need to, in the old days, integration meant writing code, meaning doing some stuff. Now, what if we don't have an integration with one of the products that is in-house? People have custom products. People have custom data lakes. We actually let you build your own integrations. We call it BYOI. So this is the integration screen I was talking about, hundreds of integrations that are out there. Super easy to configure, just providing the API key and stuff. Now, there is always a chance that we don't have an integration that you might have a product for or internal product. You can actually go write Python code, full SDK, to go build your own integration because effectively, it's a set of APIs and you're calling those set of APIs. Second comes, once you have these integrations, the most important piece is what we call a playbook. And I actually think this is kind of, uh, the tool is designed for the lazy person inside each of you. I say, <laughs> if you do the same task twice. It's a cloud, man. Script it. You script it, right? And I think I've seen the best developers, the base security in, in analysts are the ones who are lazy. And it's like, hey, I need to automate this. And you automate, and you automate, and you become more efficient. Shit. They're efficient. Lazy is efficient. <laughs> I always say lazy is equal to inefficient. So these playbooks, uh, for example, are super easy to edit. You look at this workflow. I'm trying to edit this, or you can start from scratch. You pick your tool. So you say, you know what? I'm going to go to Alien Vault, and I want to check the reputation of an IP address from an Alien Vault. So you kind of go hit Add, and you provide the IP address. Where do you pick up the IP address? You say, hey, I'm going to take it from a previous step or from an incident detail and pick up that from the incident or a previous step and you then say, okay, and that's how easy it is to put a task here and then you attach it in the workflow that you want it here. So basically each task has an input, has outputs, the inputs get passed to that API, the output is the result, that could be now passed to something else. With this basic premise, you can start to build amazingly powerful workflows to automate your security response actions. So that is the core of one of the biggest pieces which uh, we call Playbook. The, let's look at a live incident here. So in this incident, where the phishing alert came in, what we have done is automatically first notified the SOC manager so we went ahead and notified SOC manager. So we start with that, then we, ex oops. then we extracted the indicators. So this step is extract all the indicators. What does the email have, right? I mean, typically an analyst would take 45 minutes to an hour to look at that email, find hashes, find URLs, find the sender, look at the reputation of the sender. All of that is done because we automatically get the URLs and indicators out. We go check the IP reputation with multiple threat feeds, and we find it is actually 
bad, and why is it bad? Because IBM X Force Exchange or some other source would tell it to be bad. And then where else it exists, all of that data comes in right here. So this information comes in, then you can look at the same information around hashes, URLs, is there malicious URLs found? So what were the URLs and what did we find about them? All of this data, oops, what did I click? All of this data, huh, my mouse is a little off here. Um, so all of this data comes in and an analyst is able to review with ease. And now the analyst is saying, notify the analyst for review. What do you want to do next? Let's talk about in the given time is the next step is typically an analyst says, you know what? I need some uh, to either take notes and they switched from work plan view to what I call the war room view. War room view, I can actually say, hey, Nalima, I need help. So I can either call a peer for help and they will be added to this investigation and we can chat live. Or as I said, now I need details. I want to pivot and ask a question to dbot. I want to ask a question to dbot says, uh, AD get user details. I want get user SAM account. And with this, I want to give a SAM account name, maybe R Bhargav, and get more details on this user. This is just an example, I can get AD user details. But let's actually do something more interesting, which is I want to get IP details for 8.8.8.8. We all know it's the Google DNS server. But if it was some other place, you would going to five different sources which are all connected here and getting that data would take a lot of time. Here, Dbot went in and brought in reputation for multiple different things, right? So it figured out Fishme, what does it think about it? Fishme has no idea. Cofence has no idea. Virus total things, this is the details. All of the data fed to you. Can I update this information of, let's say, internal stuff? Yeah, yeah. So if this is an internal information, you can actually go ahead for this particular thing. You can actually mark it bad. So you can take a, a deleted, whitelisted, a whole bunch of actions around these. Okay. So an analyst can start to now do their regular investigation right there. Even though, you've, you know, let's say you've taken this IP and it's brought back all this information here, but I want to add more to it while keeping what's existing there. Absolutely. So okay. you can start to take comments. You can start to yeah. do the following. Okay. Mark it as an evidence. Mark it as a note. Right, so I can highlight it as a note, so this gets highlighted, but I want to mark it as an evidence says, interesting information, but I want to do the following, right? So, it, so you start to build your chain of evidence. You can actually take notes and comments as well here. My point is, and again, I know we are very, very short on time is, this tool that we designed is focused on the analyst who's doing the work, the human angle here of security, which is they're sitting in the SOC, and focused on automating that workflow and then bringing that collaboration piece back so that they can talk. When you mark it as evidence, do you do anything else to it? Like perhaps to so like check summing, chain of custody, all this stuff that you Thank want. Thank you. I know I went really fast. What about reporting? Let's say I need to make this in a more readable, easier format for a higher level guy. Absolutely. So. Obviously, at some point of time, you're going to say, hey, I'm closed with this incident. You want to turn it into a report. You can actually say, I want the timeline information, basic information, linked incident, all of this. I don't really care for the work plan because that's too detailed for me. Yeah. Uh, whether you want the incident timeline, incident files may not be needed, who worked on the team, attachments, bad suspicious indicator, you choose. And you say, generate report. And boom, comes out the entire PDF with the entire investigation pieces, whatever the work was done, whatever was automated, all out of it. Can and that investigation it? is audited, is, is uh, recorded and archived? Everything is recorded. Every human touch, right? Typing notes, everything. Because this is, the, by the way, a lot of this work today happens in Evernote or another notebook, which is never yeah. recorded, never audited. <laughs> like when we did interviews, we was like, oh, yeah, yeah, I have this notebook of mine, which I write this in. Yeah. Do you... Can you do the reports midway through so someone says, oh, yeah, I need so I didn't close the incident right now. Okay, so you don't so have this, to close By the way, you don't have report. to close the ticket, and customers actually do every hour reporting, every two hours reporting and stuff. Right. 
Can you automate the reporting? And you can actually automate the reporting. One of the tasks, we do recurrent tasks and whatnot. So you can send hourly report to, like long running incident, you can send hourly report to your exec management and bring it back. And then that would be logged and as? Logged as a report generated and periodic reports and stuff. Okay. And the PDF is now part of the incident? PDF is not part of the incident. It goes into the war room and attached. Okay, thank you. Um, to sum up, I think this was the piece, which is when we see as Demister, and this is why kind of we sit, we integrate with all those tools, standardizing the processes, unifying the security infrastructure, and automating incident response. I think the core message I would want to give away is we see this as bringing the human angle back to security, tying all the products, and efficiently delivering it.